Welcome. My name is Furious Game, and welcome back to another Minecraft 1 to 5 skill ship building tutorial. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to build the RMS Titanic in 1 to 5 scale. Now, for now, I'm sure this ship doesn't exactly need any um, introduction because if, if you're here, then uh, um, unless you I'm sure that if you're here, you already know basic, the basic premise of everything about her. But for the sake of the video and the rest of my channel, at least, I'm going to read from her Wikipedia article. Anyway, and it's kind of long, so bear with me. RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner operated by White Star Line, which sank uh, in the North Atlantic Ocean on the 15th of April, 1912. After striking, uh, striking an iceberg during her maiden voyage from Southampton, UK, to New York City, of the estimated 2,224 passengers and crew aboard, more than 1,500 died, which made the sinking possibly one of the deadliest for a single ship up, up to that time. It remains to this day the deadliest peacetime sinking of a superliner or cruise ship. The disaster drew much public attention, provided, provided the foundation material for the disaster film genre, and has inspired many art artistic works. Titanic was the largest ship afloat at the time at the time she entered service, and the second of only three Olympic class liner ocean liners operated by the White Star Line. She was built by Harlan and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast. Uh, Thomas Andrews, who uh, who was the naval chief architect of the shipyard at that time, died in the disaster. Titanic was under command of Captain Edward John Smith who went down with the ship. The ocean liner carried some of the wealthiest people in the world, as well as hundreds of immigrants from Great Britain and Ireland, uh, in Scandinavia, and elsewhere throughout Europe, who were seeking a new life in the United States and Canada. The first class accommodation was designed to be the pinnacle of comfort and, uh, and luxu luxury, with a gymnasium, a swimming pool, libraries, high class restaurants, and opulent cabins. Each high powered Radio telegraph transmitter was available for sending passengers, uh, passenger mar marconigrams, and the ship's uh, uh, operational use. The Titanic had advanced safety features such as watertight compartments and remotely activated watertight doors. The ship was equipped with 16 lifeboat davits, each capable of lowering three lifeboats, for a total of 48. The Titanic only carried 20 of these four of which were collapsible and proved hard to launch while the ship was sinking. Together, the 20 lifeboats were capable of carrying 1,178 people, which is only about half the number of passengers on, on board, and only one-third of the number of passengers that she could have carried at full capacity. This was, unfortunately, consistent with maritime safety regulations of the era. In addition, when the ship sank, many of the lifeboats that had been lowered weren't, were only about half full, even in that. So, yeah, a lot of very stupid decisions. Um, but again, I'm sure everybody uh, tuning in probably already knew all of that. So, yeah. Um, of course, this is in 1 to 5 scale, meaning 5 times smaller than uh, the real thing would have been. Um, and of course, if I'm doing um, this, then obviously I have a bunch more ocean liners on the way, uh, that are in the process of being in the back of my mind, uh, or already built, but, you know, nobody actually cares about that. Um, here, here, here she is. Um, if you want to build her, make sure to at least give me credit in some shape or uh, form. Uh, there are plenty of signs everywhere for you to, you know, do that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to stop bullshitting you and get into this video already. Alright, so, 
<clears throat> to start this off, we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna be doing this in layers, so yeah. Um, and again, if I if I sound exhausted or whatever, um, it's because I'm forcing myself to do this. But please bear with me. All right, and so you're gonna want to go to wherever uh, you want the front of this to be. Uh, and if you're doing this in the water, then it'll be on the second block underwater. Um, <clears throat> you want a brick top slab and then a uh, set of brick stairs upside down and forward facing behind it. And you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, red terracotta blocks with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brick top slabs. And you want, uh, one red terracotta block by itself, then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red terracotta with brick slabs on the side. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Red terracotta blocks with brick stairs on the side. And then one, two, three, four more red terracotta blocks with brick stair brick slabs on the side. And then two red terracotta with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brick top slabs uh, on top of them. On the last four, you want one, two, three, four um, crimson signs and then a skeleton skull on the end like that and you want to go in the center you want to fill in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven red terracotta so you should have one sticking out the back like that then you want a normal brick stair facing backwards uh, and then a skeleton skull coming off the back of it and then an upside down brick stair just like this, uh, just like that. So that does it for layer one, and we can move into layer two. All right, moving into layer two. On top of this br uh, brick top slab, you want a uh, red terracotta block. And what in front of it, and then behind it, you want one, two, three more. If you move it diagonally, you want one red terracotta. Where's my. One red terracotta like that. And then one, two, three, four, six. Red terracotta behind it. Two brick top slabs. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Red terracotta with two on the back. And go inside, you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, red terracotta. Two brick top slabs coming off. On the center, 1, 2. Uh, red terracotta, and then two coming off of it. A brick top. A brick upside down, uh, brick top stair, facing forward like that, and then a normal one on the back, so it comes in line with the rudder. And then that does it for layer two. Um, and then everything above this will be above the water line. So let's just move on to layer three. All right, moving on into layer three. You want uh, one, two, three, four, black wool, and then deep slate tile slab on the side, and then one, two, three, four, five, um, wool, and one deep slate tile uh, top slab, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, and thirty four. Uh, black wool, deep slate tile uh, stair, and then a deep slate tile slab. Go in, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wool, a slab, wind, two wool, and then a uh, deep slate tile wall. <clears throat> and that does it for layers. Layer three, move into layer four. All right, moving on into uh, layer four. This is our last layer of the hull. You want two wool blocks on the first two, and then you want a deep slate slab, a uh, deep slate tile slab on the side, and one, two, three, four, five wool top slab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Wall blocks, just like that. So your bow should look something like that. <clears throat> and then you want one, two slabs going off, and then two wool behind it, one, two, three wool in front of it, slab, wool in the center, and a single slab in the back. I'm going to copy that to the other side. And then, you want to fill in the deck with oak wood planks just like that so it does it for the hull and then I guess uh, for the superstructure we can just do it all at once Alright, can you do this in sections? Because it's not really difficult. Uh, you want to go to the front. You want a uh, quartz stair. Just quartz smooth stair on the front like that. And you want one, one, two, three quartz, uh, smooth quartz uh, slabs. And then to go, go out, you want one, two. Then you want to go one in, and then a slab. Then I'm going to stair facing backwards, and two more out. Then in. Oh, instead of um, just a slab, you want a stair and a slab. So then it looks like that. And then fill in like this. I'll take a deep plate tile stair, place it in front. Uh, tile slab and place it in front of the stair. And then you want to place an oak wood slab, a stands sandstone block in front of it, and then a forward facing smooth quartz stair with oak wood slabs on either side. And then on the second stair, you want one, two, three. Yeah, uh, fence posts going up. So I'm gonna go back. And one, two, and three. Just like so.
and then you want a skeleton skull on the front of this uh, first fence post out like that. And then for the rigging, uh, also you want to place an end rod on top of this stair, and then you want a structure void. We're gonna go one from and up. All right, and then you want to do that three times, and then keep the top one going. So you just have the diagonals like that, and then on top one, two. Just do two, three, four, five polished blackstone buttons going up like that, and on the back, no, one, two, three, no, no, one, two, three back like that so your rigging should look like that then you want to go to this uh, defense post coming out like this and then you want one two down and go out one two with the uh, structure woods and put ladders on them can you not do that anymore? Hold on, this, this works. barrier work. I hope it does. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So you want to take barriers, like so, that's... One, two, go out. One, two. Then put um, ladders on it. <clears throat> and then once once you're done with that, that'll do it for the bow, and then. One, two, three iron trap doors, two birch, uh, two birch trap doors in the center, and then two smooth quartz slabs on the side. With a row of three birch fence gates, and then both pressure plates on top of the black wool, and then that about does it for the front, and then. Uh, sake of simplicity, you want to go to the back. And a smooth quartz stair on the back with a smooth quartz slab to either side. And then we forward one, two, and then go out one. And one, two, three, four. And then repeat on the other side as well as fill in. Uh, front, so you have your poop deck. And then you want 
first with stairs. One in front of this birch, the one in front of the uh, smooth quartz stair, uh, facing backwards, and then, and on the second row, uh, at the front, you want one, you want them facing different ang uh, angles like that. Then you have space, which you're gonna take your smooth quartz stair. Same process. And then fill the rest in with oak wood. Uh, slabs. Take your iron trap door and run five across on the back just like that. And then you want an end rod. Place it on top. And then you have the aft most decking. And then you want Three iron trap doors, just like front, uh, and then birch trap doors, one block apart in the center. Once again, and then the quartz slabs on either side of the hull. And now that we have that done, we can move back to the front. You want a smooth quartz stair facing out on either side, and then a row of one, two, three um, smooth quartz blocks in the center, and then you want two smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs on either side facing forward, and then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, and 17 um, quartz, uh, smooth quartz blocks just like that. And then an alternated pattern, you want 1, 2, skip space 1, 1, 2, skip space 1, skip space 1, 2, skip space 1, skip space 1, 2, uh, with black, with polished black stone buttons just like that. Then you want to repeat the same thing on the other side. One two space one space one two space one space one two space one space one two. And then <clears throat> you want two back facing stairs on the other side and then side facing at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stairs, and then one, two, smooth quartz. Like that. And then you want a full block on either side, just like that. And then a smooth quartz stair facing either side, and then a smooth quartz block in the center with birch landscapes on either side. Alright, now that you have that done, you want to fill it in the rest of the way. with oak wood planks and then you want to go back to the front in the center you want a smooth quartz block and then on the on either side you want a smooth quartz stair and then the, another smooth quartz block so that your front looks like this and behind it 
I'm just gonna do uh, one side first and then the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 um, smooth quartz blocks. And then on the first two, put an iron trap door. Alright. So, uh, we're going to start on the right side. One, two, diorite, uh, walls, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, glass panels, skip space. One, two, three, four glass panels. And then a uh, side facing smooth quartz and uh, smooth quartz slab, and then a white stained glass panel. And then on the other side, you want two diorite walls, two white stained glass panels. Blocks two white uh, stained glass white stained glass panels. Skip two spaces and then you'll one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four uh, stained glass panels and then smooth quartz stair and then white stained glass panel. Just like that, and then you want go back to the front, smooth quartz slab on either side, and then stair, slab, stair, slab, stair, slab, and stair. On the other side, stair, stair, stair. Sign, sign on the stairs. Just like that, and then you want to go to the back. Um, okay. I'm gonna place an oak pressure plate on top of this quartz uh, full block like this, and behind it. I'm going to make another mast, so one, two, three, go back, one, two, and three, with the barriers, one, two, under one, two, You want to go back to this end rod, you want um, structure voids, you want one, go up. 
two, go up one, go up one, two, go up one, go up one and two. And then underneath, go one, go over, one, go over, one, go under, one, over, one, just like that. On the first set you want um, uh, buttons on the back side. And then on the other side you want buttons as well. And then more buttons. The top rigging as well. Alright, and then you want to go back down here. A, a row of one, two, three smooth quartz blocks. No smooth quartz slabs. And facing backwards, a smooth quartz stair with a smooth quartz. No. Okay, the stair needs to be facing forward, and you want a smooth quartz block in front of it. Go two spaces ahead, direct wall on either side, um, not like on the side of the hall, but on either side of the, uh, on the second and fourth block. And then you want to skip the space to get in the center again, you want one, two, uh, Smooth quartz block, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Glass panels wrapped around the back like that. Then you want to skip a space, a backwards facing smooth quartz stair, and then Put your fence gate facing towards the, uh, towards the stair. You also want to go to the back and put birch fence gates on either side of this row three of the uh, <clears throat> uh, slabs. On the side, you want one slab. Skip one. Skip one. Skip one, just like that. For the lifeboats, one, two, three, four stairs. Just like that with um, signs on the sides, just like this. And then you want to go the rest of the way on the sides with slabs just like that and then the whole length of that except for the edges you want uh, signs side okay right, and then <coughs> I want oak wood I just want to fill in the rest with oak wood slabs And then that does it for the, just about, uh, most, of, most of the superstructure. And then we'll go back to the front. We want two more of pressure plates. Two skeleton slabs. No, skeleton heads facing each other.
then, um, what, one, two, birch, uh, birch planks stacked on top of each other with sandstone wall behind it, and on top, black concrete, deep slate tile wall, and that does it for the first funnel. Then you want to skip place and two iron trap doors, a oak push plate. You also want to on the side you want three push plates. Skip one and then in a push plate again. Do that. Then you want to make another another funnel. Smooth, you want an oak push plate, smooth sandstone slab, skeleton skull facing forward, and then dark, and then art oak uh, pressure plate, another funnel. And then on the uh, back structure, you just want to build another funnel. And then to finish this all up, so that I can go to bed, um, you want to run structure voids between the tops of the uh, mass. And then you want to go to the space that we left free, and it's diagonal. Voids. And you put your hall blackstone buttons. You want buttons on either side of the rest of the structure voids. Alright, and then, once that's done, you will have finished the tutorial, yay! Um, and with that, I hope you all enjoyed, uh, this tutorial, um, as always, make sure to maybe leave a like if you enjoyed, uh, if you find, found this helpful, um, and if, if you decide to use this model, which I'm sure... A few of you will. Um, make sure to give credit at least somewhere on here. There's plenty of signs. You can just write my name down somewhere on it. Just like that. But, um, yeah, without further ado, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night or day, wherever you are in the world. Um,. And I will see myself out. This is Furious Gamer building the RMS Titanic. We'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.